faces lately. So he might appreciate what I'm going for here, which is some gruel landfall beatdowns. But not in kind of the sense that like Mobius and Hakeem have both posted of uh, great, you know, they're good videos and they're good decks. Mine is going just kind of different. It's really a ramp deck, but instead of Eldrazi on the top and sweepers like Radiant Flames and Jotty, cards like Jotty Offshoot shoot on the bottom, it has landfall creatures on the bottom and in the middle and no Eldrazi on top and no removal on the bottom. So it's doing it's doing the ramp thing. It's gonna use cards like this here, Acid Moss, which is so brutal, to pump up its landfall guys. And the idea is to apply a lot of pressure early through the landfall guys, and then finish it late with some of the big cards like Gaia's Revenge, Omnath, and the Rolling Thunders. So in a way, it's a bit of a, I don't know, I guess it's almost a mid-range deck. It's it's a hybrid. It's weird. I'm not sure if it's good, but quick 3-0. That game was mostly a goldfish. Not a high quality victory, but if you're goldfish in the deck, that's about what it would do to the AI. Uh, Lockhammer, what, uh, when is my game? My, I assume you're talking about my next tournament game in the Hakeem Invitational, and that will be tomorrow, Wednesday, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you hear me uh, go dark, as you know, some people have said covert go dark, if you hear me just stop talking, I'm doing one of two things. I'm thinking about the game, which in this case is not the case, or I'm replying to some of the messages I keep getting, like check out this deck, or did you hear about this, etc, etc, etc. Thanks for the support, Hammer. You, you, uh, have always, you and your Lockhammer News Network have always uh, been, well, maybe not always, but I think for the most part I've always had my back. Maybe not in the very, very beginning. I don't even remember much about those first couple, like, really long posts I put on NGA a long time ago. This hand is a one-trick pony. If the opponent is going to hit us with any kind of removal, it could do nothing. But I don't think we can get rid of it, because we might also just win. But it's not as great as some people might think. It it certainly is a risky one. <laughs> the problem is that you talk to less, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm not always capable of filling every second with amazing, insightful words. That is true. I try not to put too much pressure on myself to do that. It does mess with the game if you worry too much about what people are saying in Twitch comments or YouTube comments, or if you're worried about spelling out every play you make. Now this play could go really south with a twin bolt. If it does, we have a follow-up, so it's not the end of the world, but we really don't want to see Twin Bolt. So he's going to play red aggro. And so we get to ask the question of who is the beatdown? Can I beat him before he beats me? And right now we have a pretty big lead. Majoring Bully can do a lot. If he puts Call the Full Moon or another enchantment on this, and a Titan Strength or something like that. He can easily hit us for 7 or 8 damage next turn. We're hitting here for 5. We're going to play a Leopard. And if it doesn't die, we can hit for 7, 8, 9, 10 next turn. So not quite dead, but I think we're okay. 
I think we're okay to keep attacking him here. Certainly our guys are horrible at blocking, and that's not really the right thing to do. But this could go, this could turn into a very bad race for us, depending on what he has to use with that majoring bully. And again, a, a twin bolt would be really brutal. It would, it would probably end the game. Wow, that is worse than a twin bolt. That is a card I have not had cast against me yet. Not once. Uh, that So this is the first time that has been cast on me. And that is Boiling Earth. One damage to each creature I control. And I controlled three creatures, each with one toughness. And they are now all dead. They are all dead. So do I Slide Runner here, or do I Acid Moss? I think the only chance we have in this game now is to get to Omnath and go crazy. So I think we pick the Acid Moss here and hope to to draw more lands. But we do not have a very good shot in this game. Drawing Rolling Thunder would be really nice. Other than that, there's, you know, we want lands to get to Omnath, but that doesn't do us a lot of good. A rolling thunder right here and we're okay, but for most things we are in pretty bad shape. Okay. Well, nothing to do but put out some sacrificial fodder. I'm sure we're going to see an enchantment or another boiling earth or something of that nature. Man, that boiling earth was good. That really makes me think about if I would ever want to try some boiling earth in my red decks. There's the twin bolt, which is another card that I just think we had no real shot at beating. And here comes the attack. We're lucky that he doesn't have an enchantment to put on Flamekin, at least not yet. And a land is good. Uh, I mean, that's not very good, but it's something. Land is good. Spells are good. Probably the worst thing we could draw would be something like Nissa's Pilgrimage. Rolling Thunder would still bail us out. Maybe. Depends what he does here. But our next draw is... It has to be really good. It has to be exactly as needed. It could be an untapped land. It could be a rolling thunder. Yeah, we're going to try to trade. And we're not going to get to. I don't know. I wonder why he wouldn't do that differently. But, okay. Gives us a chance to block. Okay, untap land. We're gonna make him cope with this and see what happens. No matter what, I'm going to block, even if he has a way to kill Omnath. We just, we can't take any more damage. And if this trades for both his creatures, then, you know, so be it. Looks like that's what's gonna happen. But hopefully he doesn't have any pressure to follow it up with. If I take the damage there, I'm dead to all kinds of burn spells, which are surely in his deck. Oh, there's the Rolling Thunder. A little bit late. A little bit late. Oh well. It still might come in handy. 8 life. It's going to be hard to burn us out from 8 life. He'll need both Firecrafts or some run of Twin Bolts and Firecraft to do it. Evolving Wilds. Um, I don't have anything landfall with haste, but I can get this out there and not crack it. So that can trigger landfall if I draw something that benefits. Yep. So... I have to make sure that bully dies. 
Rolling Thunder right now is for five. I doubt he has Titan Strength. If he does, that's only for four. So I don't have to crack this wild, and I don't think the extra damage is worth it. I think the landfall trigger may yet come in really handy. There's another one. Okay. One, two, three, and we're going to be extra safe. And we're going to go four. And if he has double Titan Strength, this doesn't kill it, so there's no point in playing around double Titan Strength. Still, I don't think the one damage to the head will come back. I can't think of a reason not to do all on the... I can't think of... Okay, I'm going to do one over here because I can't think of a reason not to, but we'll see if I if I missed something. Okay, didn't miss anything, thank God. Get that other one down here. If we can keep him off creatures, I mean, he probably has cards like Ravaging Blaze up that sleeve. So we'll also keep the land count down so that he can't Ravaging Blaze us out. But if we can just keep drawing okay. And we're not cracking wilds again because of so many landfall uh, cards in our deck. It's a landfall theme deck if you're just joining us. It's got all these little dorks, but it's got kind of the big league ramp spells in Moss. Hello. Take me home, big guy's revenge. Will we actually make a comeback in this game? I thought for sure this game was over. Again, if you're just joining us, we got Boiling Earthed. Boiling frickin' Earth, a card that has never hit me before. Wiped out three of our landfall creatures on turn three. So, end of turn, Twin Bolt could put us to uh, six, and then if he has Ravaging Blaze and he draws a land, he can do it for three, so that still leaves us another turn, and Grove Rumbler or Guy's Revenge are lethal, so I think it's right to play this. Mm -hmm. And this is why we saved those Evolving Wilds, hopefully. Um, let's see, if he's casting it now, he might have two but we can still, I think, survive that. So there we go. That's why we saved the Evolving Wilds, in case anybody thought that was weird. And that's gonna be game, because we can attack, we can crack another Evolving Wilds and hit for five. Oh, hello again. <laughs> so we'll take the style points and show off some of what our deck can do. So we pull that one off when I thought we were dead in the water. But that's why you John Cena this stuff. You never give up. You never surrender. Hustle, loyalty, respect. To the end. <laughs> are we going to get to leave the game? Or are we going to lock up? I hope we don't lock up. I hope we get our gold and get to keep playing. Okay, good. I'd hate to restart the uh, Twitch stream and cut the video. Okay, didn't you got problem in your second main stage quest one, or maybe you never played those tutorials? Swish Bob, hello in chat. I played all the tutorials, and I had problems all over the place. You just gotta, you gotta keep fighting. What'd I just say? John Cena, never give up. <laughs> never tap out. 